So I have tried my first 3D tree. I saw Jordy Johnson do this on a log. If you don't know him, check him out at Carving Fusion. And I thought I would try it. This is my very first attempt. So what I did is I made like a thick base and I made them look like rocks. I didn't put much trunk on this at all. Because sometimes, you know, when I go out in the snow and stuff, I don't even see the trunks. The boughs are hanging down. Uh, you can go all the way around this. It's, it's all the way around. I think it came out pretty cool. And what you do is you... You chop like a cone shape out, and then you go through and you put scallops, kind of like fish scales. And then what you do is you give them texture. Uh, it takes a long time to sand. I need to get a better sanding equipment. I really do. Uh, because, you know, if I, I like the burnt wood where you, you know, like these things where you, once you burn it and sand it, it makes the grain pop like this. So I kind of like these, like these are two dimensional trees, you can tell the difference. These are just like, you know, boards that you basically do. This is all the way around. I think it came out pretty cool, but it does take a lot longer because you're obviously doing a lot more cuts. Um, I wish I found a better way to sand it. So maybe Jordy can give me some advice on that. I'm basically using the sanding wheels, but I think I need to get a stronger grit. Uh, I'm starting to wear them really out. And maybe that's a problem. I do have some other sanders, but sometimes they're too strong and they will take off all the texture you put on if, you, if, you're, if you're not careful. I'm just low on everything because my uh, sponges wore out. The, uh, the sanding wheel sponges. I'd have to show you what those are. Let's see if I can find it. So, they look like this. So I have a new one, but this is for a drill. It doesn't fit into my angle grinder. Um, but they're like a sponge with hook, hook in a loop, and then they Velcro attached to sanding discs. So I, I wore those out. Apparently those wear out pretty fast. And so I need to get another one. Also, the oscillator tool is pretty cool. But you can see that I've worn the edges out, so there's no more hook and loop. So I need to buy more triangles. Um, Unfortunately, let me give you this advice. Have your sanding stuff ready to go when you try something big because I was like, ah, I can figure it out. And I had to do the whole thing with those brush wheels. And they, uh, they're not great. I mean, they're actually really good when you first start them, but after a while they wear out pretty quick. Okay, so Merry Christmas, y'all. I think this will get a, a decent... I'm going to try to sell it at a craft fair. Um, I don't know, I might keep it as my very first try. So, I'm not sure. We'll put it out. I have no idea. Maybe in the comments you guys could tell me what you guys think these things are worth. Because this is two feet high. This is about a foot and a half. And this one here is three feet high. And they all come with nice garland and candles. Nice candles. I don't know what to charge for these things. I got no idea. So, I don't know. They're pretty big and heavy duty. Anyway, I want to share with you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I'll keep posting the Christmas stuff I'm making. Uh, all right. Thank you guys for checking in.